Good evening, everyone. Um, I understand there's a few here from Norway, so uh, hello in Norwegian, I'm told, is hello. Um, <laughs> you can blame the PR people. They supplied me with that joke. Um, well, I'm Elias Khan. I'm the chairman of the club, and the reason I'm the chairman of the club and I got involved is I'm from here. This is my town and my club. There's no real further explanation that can be required beyond that. Um, I... Um, I'm very pleased indeed to be able to be here this evening, um, not just for the game, but for the shares. And this is a continuation of a journey that started two years ago now, almost to the day, when the club was um, on the brink of bankruptcy and extinction. And the fans and the club and the town got together to make sure that that bankruptcy was averted. And at that time, we made some commitments and one of those commitments was that we would repay all of the debt, we would change the way in which the club is run and governed, and we would try to match the achievements of John Coleman and his team on the field by improvements off the field. Now, those things obviously don't happen overnight. I remember very keenly speaking to many of you who are here this evening and saying that this journey was one that would take a while and it would take a while because the things that needed to change could not be changed overnight and secondly I didn't have the resources of a certain Mr Abramovich I remember saying that quite distinctly and I'm really pleased that despite some of the obstacles that have happened that journey continues in the right direction we're here we're doing well and we've changed the way in which the club is, club is governed the share issue is part of that change and rather than explain in fine detail what is happening, what I'd like to do is um, really invite people, um, wherever they might be, at least within earshot, to ask direct questions. And hopefully in that form, I'll be able to shed light on what we're trying to do. All I wanted to achieve in this particular introduction was help give you the context of the journey that's already taken place. Uh, and Andy Cryer at the Lancashire Telegraph. Just how important can this share issue be for, to safeguard the future of the club and you know, to, to continue on from it? Well, the question was, how important is this for safeguarding the future of the club? And um, it's important, but not critical. Um, the club had debts which were quite significant given our size those debts have been repaid so whatever we raise through shares will be supporting everything else that's going on in the club now recently about two weeks ago we had to continue in the um, process of making changes by trimming some of our overhead i think um, everybody's aware of that because the revenues that the club gets from its uh, gate receipts and from its sponsorship is not as much as it ought to be which is in a way a reflection of the economic environment. So the cuts we made were on the cost side, which means broadly our revenue and our costs are now at a par. So everything that we raise from the share issue will be a big step towards safeguarding our future. It's not the only way that we're going to do it, but it is a very important way. What I'd like to point out actually is that what's more important than the money that we might raise, because I think we've got to be uh, realistic. We may not raise hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds. What we will do is increase the ownership of the club and by doing so, allow the club to be run by its shareholders rather than by one person. And the other thing I think that we did was last week, we announced that um, we were inviting uh, fans to apply to become on the board, which is another important step along the line of the commitment that we did make already. We have one director on the board who represent the fans, who is Peter, and we will then have another person on the board, hopefully, to represent the community and the fans. So the two go together. We as a club cannot today, tomorrow, next week or next year, afford a new stadium. A new stadium will cost millions of pounds. We can't hope to raise anything like that. The reason, however, that we can hope to get to a new ground 
is that with the help of the council and other people, we might be able to move to a site where we can partner with a commercial entity, a builder, uh, 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 um, somebody who's in the construction industry, who would then pay for the redevelopment of a, of, of a site where for free we might then be able to join them. Now obviously that requires investment and that's where I come in. So not the club but me, Ilias, will put money into the redevelopment of a ground and hopefully we might be able to move. But there's so many ifs along the way that I think it would be wrong for us to assume that we can achieve that in the next year or two. We cannot. So this share issue will help make the best of what we've already got. I hope that's clear and um, it's not a straightforward answer, I'm afraid. I just want to reassure the fans as opposed to the press, sorry, because the fans are a lot more important to me. We still need to move. At the end of the day, we will have to move somewhere. We cannot survive here. If we stay here, we will not survive. But that's a few years away. On the basic level, what is a share? Yes, well, the share means that you're an owner of the club. Uh, and that was one of our commitments um, to ourselves. Um, the view was that people who used to own shares never felt that they were owners of the club. So this is an attempt to allow anybody, whether they own one share or a hundred shares, to be an owner of this club and by doing so, A, help it survive and B, get involved in the day-to-day -day decisions through the board of directors. That's all it is. There's nothing more, nothing less.